There was an idea that I'd never mentioned to anybody that maybe someday we could have an observatory outside the, the classroom. And so I, uh, I made this suggestion and, and our superintendent was very intrigued with the idea. We uh, obtained a funding from several sources. The, our Indian education program, uh, they were able to get some funding for the telescope itself and some of the accessory equipment. I applied for a grant through the McAllister Public Schools Foundation for the building itself in this 10-foot uh, fiberglass dome, and uh, that was a $16,000 grant. So uh, it was uh, really for what we've got here that's really pretty low cost. It's going to be the folks are right there, Lori's hand, okay. yeah, that right there. Right here? Yeah. Okay. That'll be the next item. The thing that's really unique about this system is it's going to be a remotely operated system. Uh, that means that teachers all across our district and even outside our district will have access to this system uh, by getting on the telescope schedule. They'll be able to, to access it over the internet. Everything was designed to be, uh, be able to control you know, over a keyboard over the internet and uh, including the, the rotation and opening of the dome, the, the uh, powering up of the telescope, the the camera equipment uh, will all be run by a computer that uh, is located here in the same building with the with the system. Uh, it looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, you know, astronomy is one of the fundamental sciences. It's been around probably one of the oldest sciences around, and uh, so it's very basic and uh, it's something that uh, you know you can go set up a telescope. And any kid that comes around, you know, they're going, to, they want to look through your telescope. What are you looking at? You know, well, I'm looking at the rings of Saturn, or I'm looking at the moons of Jupiter, or the dust storm on Mars. And they want to look. Uh, the craters on the moon, that always gets a lot of oohs and ahs from the little, you know, the little kids especially. They're really open with their emotions and their excitement. And, and I just, I, I get a big thrill out of introducing astronomy to, to these kids and, and adults alike.